the relations we have with India can be described as the privileged strategic partnership, and they are described as such in the documents that we have signed. And these are not just words. This formula reflects the special character of our relations, starting with India's independence and up until today. That's the nature of our relations, and we appreciate highly the responsible and worthy of a great power stance that India is taking globally on all the key matters of the global agenda. And today, when addressing the participants of the foreign minister meeting President Modi, I think he presented balanced and responsible position of the country as the president of the G20. And in this address, he was not just speaking about some isolated individual situation because the West is trying to divide the geopolitical picture into individual episodes. But in the address by Mr. Modi, he gave the assessment of the situation across the globe in general terms, and I completely share it. I think it has already been published, so you can familiarize yourselves with it. As for the assistance and resolving the crisis, on many occasions we have publicly stated that we have never refused to listen to serious suggestions that are made out of the sincere willingness to find a political resolution. One more time, I would like to remind you, when we are called to start negotiations, I do not remember anyone from the Western colleagues or from anyone else from any other countries talk to Ukraine to call them upon starting, to call upon them to start negotiations. And I think there is a certain sad truth about this. Because Ukraine is encouraged to continue war when Ukraine was ready to be engaged in negotiations last March and when Ukraine suggested principles on how the situation could be resolved that we have supported and we were ready to sign an agreement based on these principles. Ukraine was slapped on the wrist.